Across from the L tracks on the corner of Greenwood and Lunt, the Heartland Cafe has stood the test of time for over four decades. Its original owners opened the Rogers Park restaurant in 1976 with the idea of changing the world through food. It started as revolutionary. It was this mind-boggling idea of like vegetarian-based cuisine. There was always a little meat so everyone could eat. Shifting the focus to locally organic based food, Tom Rosenfeld bought the Heartland Cafe and the 100-year-old building it sits in six years ago. But the upkeep and the cost were too much. Rosenfeld sold the building. Today, longtime customers came back for one last visit before the restaurant and shop close at this location for good. It's quite unique. I don't know of any other place that uh, offer the same ambiance. It's sad for everyone because this has been here for so long. Um, I started coming here in the 70s when this was like breakthrough, health food, new technology, you know, this was groundbreaking. But the Heartland Cafe was much more than just food. It was always a space, kind of a safe space for community conversation, both intellectual, political, artistic. It was really a cultural uh, anchor of the neighborhood. It was an anchor for progressive politics. The late Chicago mayor Harold Washington was a regular. The Heartland was used as a launching pad for Barack Obama's Senate campaign. Rosenfeld hopes to open at a different location, but he hasn't found one yet. Hopefully we'll have something to celebrate as opposed to uh, something to look back on. Heartland Cafe's final act after it closes will be a party for all of its employees tonight, most who have found jobs elsewhere. In Rogers Park, Sarah Schulte, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.